Hi guys, I'm so excited to be back in the kitchen today and I am making a large beef chops. They haven't been cut so I'm using the whole piece. I've added about one cup of yogurt and to that I've added some salt, there's a little bit of oil and today I'm using a half a packet of these fried chops recipe mix. So what I'm doing is not following what they say, I've just rubbed it on and uh, a lot of people ask me at what point do I use meat tenderizer, I don't. But today I'm using this because uh, I don't have enough time to marinate this in shredded raw papaya. So I'm going to be using a teaspoon or whatever it says on the packet in this. And I'm going to uh, cover this and cook this with a little bit of water for at least uh, two hours. I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you that I've added one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic minced. And I'm going to cover and cook that for at least two hours. In about an hour and a half or so, the beef seems to have cooked pretty well. So what I've done is I've taken the lid off. I've changed the side once in between because I wanted both sides to cook evenly. I'm going to wait for the water to dry up a little bit. After the beef chunk of chops, I thought that there's such lovely gravy in there, uh, rather stock, and I would add some unpeeled potatoes and let this cook in the stock. That becomes really yummy when you're serving it. The beef is nearly done anyway, so this is just about another 15 minutes. So this is ready. I've uh, taken out the meat. It's literally falling off the bones. And uh, I'm taking out the potatoes and I'm going to line them on this oven uh, tray. Right at the end, the first serving, I'm going to put this into the oven and just uh, decorate it with some other condiments. I've also added the gravy in this, guys. And here is some parsley. When this goes into the oven, the parsley will also release a beautiful smell. So uh, let's wait for this to be done and I will show you what it looks like right at the end. I'm making potato tuna cutlets today. The post is already up on If Night Can Cook. I made it ages ago. But if you want, you can just uh, hang out here with me and learn how to do this again. I'm going to be adding or subtracting some stuff because that's what I do each time. So follow me guys and let's make potato tuna cutlets today. I took about 5 potatoes and I boiled them, skinned them, mashed them, added some salt, half a teaspoon of chaat masala, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes and then I added half an onion chopped, a handful of coriander chopped, uh, one green chili de-seeded and chopped it. I also added the juice of half a big lemon. For the filling I have two small cans of sardines and tomato sauce. You can use tuna in uh, brine. Uh, but that's what I had lying at home today and I've just uh, sprinkled some salt, red chili flakes, there's just about half uh, of a small onion chopped, there's some uh, basil leaves that I've chopped and I have also squeezed a lemon into this. Mix this really well and I don't need to say that your hands have to be really really clean before you mix it up. Guys this is so much fun, I love using my hands to mix stuff. And this is also smelling very good. I just wanted to tell you that I've also sprinkled a garlic powder, about half a teaspoon right now, because I didn't want to add uh, raw garlic to this. And just a teaspoon of flour to help it bind. Okay, what you need to do is take the potatoes into your hands and then shape it into a round piece. And right in the center, um, you make a little dip and then you put in the tuna uh, mixture. And because I'm recording with one hand, I wanted to show you that I press this tuna mixture in the middle and then I just kind of fold over the sides. Okay, these pieces are rolled up nicely. I'm going to dip it in egg and then crumbs and then put it aside and put it in the freezer. And see how nicely this is packed. I'm going to put this in the freezer uh, because I'm going to be making this at night tonight. So uh, by then this will bind well. And I'm going to be frying this later on, so I'll show you what it looks like. But you can always go to the post that I've already posted on If Nat Can Cook. Just scroll down and you'll see potato tuna cutlets. I wanted to show you guys how to make a sweet corn and mushroom kind of a curry or it's actually an accompanying dish to a roast. And in this uh, pan, I have one onion chopped with a little bit of garlic, precisely actually one teaspoon some parsley and some oregano dried and uh, one teaspoon dried red chili. I've mixed that with uh, a little bit of roasted garlic oil. If you don't have 
use fancy oil, just use olive oil or any oil you have in the house. Saute this well. I don't want you to throw the water or the brown and mushroom. Saute this well and then add a can of uh, sweet corn. And I've just seasoned it with salt. Saute this well, wait for the water to dry a little. I've added 3 teaspoons of tomato paste and a little bit of the mushroom water. It's come to a boil and I've tried it and it is pretty yummy. I'm going to be adding a little bit of cream to make this into a cream of mushroom and sweet corn. Add some basil for seasoning and this is it guys. This is a complete dish.